Let's make a Picanha, also known as a top sirloin cap. This is one of my favorite cuts on the whole animal, popularized over in Brazil. Typically, these are served up on skewers, but today we're going to be cooking as a full roast. For seasoning, I like to keep it simple. If I'm making my own, I make an SPNG rub. If I'm using a pre-made rub, same thing. I'm using something that's pretty heavy SPNG. Using a meat church holy cow here. Use whatever you like. We're gonna throw it in the fridge to dry brine overnight, help that salt penetrate that meat. Get a little bit better sear whenever we get around to it. Drop your charcoal in. You're gonna put your old stuff on top if you have any left over. I like to use a little bit of beef towel, a little bit of a torn up bag, wrap it around your fire starter, stick it in the grates. That way that damn thing don't fly away again. Light it up and then you're gonna drop your charcoal straight onto it. It should take 15, 20 minutes to get hot. You can use more. I like to kind of make these last. So once you start getting little white tips on the top of your charcoal, go ahead and dump it out. Let your uh, grill get up to temp to about 250 degrees. Play some wood chips if you like. I like to put them right on top. If you throw them right in the middle, they're just gonna catch on fire immediately and burn. Use a Thermapro temp spike to track this cook. Use the phone app, it's going to tell you when it's uh, ready, basically. Put the lid on, let it go at 250 to an internal of 128. We're going to pull it off, let it rest for about 10 minutes. Then we're going to uh, open the vents back up, get those charcoals screaming hot, clean off the ash. We're going to sear this on each side for roughly about two minutes each side. I'll keep turning until I get the color I desire. Watch those flare-ups, that fat cap will basically turn that thing into a flamethrower. One of my favorite sounds right here, though. This is just a fun, fun meat to cook. Make sure don't not forget the sides. Get all those edges. Let's go ahead and take her inside and cut it up. Yeah, it looks like a steak. So I like to go real skinny pieces. It's not like cutting a ribeye or anything like that. So cut pretty, pretty thin as you can. This just came out perfect, medium rare, coast to coast, so... That Thermapro temp spike in the reverse here does wonders. Served it with some chimmy, baked what? potatoes, and cream corn. Let's get some reviews. Review time. That was good. Tender. Tender. Ice savory chimichurri. I think is that what it is? It's chimmy, yeah. Chimmy, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Wow. That's so good.